Welcome back. Working as a district attorney is not an easy task as the fates of hundreds, if not thousands of people can often be placed right in your hands. It's a pressure Jefferson County DA Danny Carr knows very well. Only on WVTM 13 tonight, we had some real talk about how his upbringing in Ensley shapes his approach to the very tough decisions he makes daily. A lot of serious conversations go down in the barbershop. Jefferson County District Attorney Danny Carr invited me to his D&J Barber and Style. You know, we're here in Ensley now, um, and this is a barbershop building that um, I owned, my granddaddy owned, he gave it to me. Carr was born and raised in this community, so he takes serving it personally. I love it here, I'm always here, I'm never gonna leave Ensley. Um, Ensley is, made me who I am today. He was able to avoid some of the pitfalls put in front of him growing up in Ensley. Some of his friends weren't so lucky. I walk to school every day here in Ensley. Some of my best friends are in prison for the rest of their lives because of the decision that they made. My church is still here in Ensley. I walk the same path, the same streets, um, but I just believe, and someone poured into me, so I believe in pouring into others. And that's his approach to this critical role. It's not easy being the DA, perhaps the most powerful person in the justice system. He decides if you get charged. You don't get to a judge unless the DA charge you, and that is um, a lot of power. And since it's within Danny's power, he doesn't believe in criminalizing addiction. And he knows not everybody agrees with that. But at the end of the day, some people will say, look, if it's on the books, it's a crime, it's a crime. I get that. But sometimes you could be tough on crime, but still be smart on crime. Those are two separate things. Violent crimes, that's another story. And we've been seeing a lot of it in our area. It's out of control. Violent crime obviously take precedent over um, any other criminal activity, whether someone steals something from someone, that can be replaced in most instances, but life can never be replaced. Um, but when you look at violent crime, uh, right now, actually, the numbers are down. Um, but at the end of the day, one murder is too many. And though it's not his job, Carr aims to keep ex-offenders from returning to prison, periodically offering what he calls the second chance job fair. He says people called him crazy for taking on this extra work, but... We've employed over 800 um, felons, people who have been touched by the criminal justice system. And those same individuals, when I see them out, you know, they walk up to me and say, man, you changed the trajectory of my life and I'm going to pay it forward. I now have a second chance to make it right. Back to the violent crime issue, Danny says, statistically violent crime is down, but it's violent crime that gets the most attention. Mm -hmm. So that's what we see all the time and we think, well, it it's, must be out of control. Right.